Days turned to weeks, turned to months, turned to years. And the old house on Shaw Avenue sat empty. I'm going to tuck everything in like a loaf of bread and just walk through it. Artie Davis and his excavator created quite a scene on Shaw. <laughs> scene repeated over and over again every day in neighborhoods across Louisiana. Five years after Hurricane Katrina, there are still homes that have been abandoned. Some, like time capsules, haven't been touched since the floodwaters receded. It falls on Michael Taylor, executive director of the Louisiana Land Trust, to get rid of the houses no one wants anymore. I'd like to be six months ahead of where I am today. We can't get things done fast enough, but, uh, but we, are, we are moving, but I just want to move us faster. Life in post-Katrina New Orleans is all about this kind of steady, yet slow progress. As days go by, homes are demolished, homes are rebuilt, businesses reopen. But no one will tell you life here is back to normal. It's too trite to say that we haven't, we didn't get here overnight, you know, so it's going to take us more than one day to get out of it. But in, in, in essence, what you're dealing with is a long, slow rebuild. The question is, are you moving in the right direction or the wrong direction? There's families that are just getting back. They've been Kurt Justice up, runs Camp Restore, created in the aftermath of Katrina to support the thousands who came here to volunteer. The people are still coming and there's still work to do, but Justice says progress is slowing. Insurance has been paid out, grants awarded, and with the economic downturn, there's just no money for building supplies. Many of our uh, homeowners were partnering with our working paycheck to paycheck, buying as much material as they can to rebuild their home. Finally, this is the day and it's uh, finally going to happen. Jimmy Cooper has been looking forward to this day. This is a step forward. It's a big step forward to improving the neighborhood. He says his neighbors lived in this home for more than 30 years but never returned. He'll move forward with plans to buy the land now that the old house on Shaw Lane is gone. Jason Bronis, The Associated Press, New Orleans.